Welcome back to Tester Scale Workshop. My name is Brett Green. You might remember last time we had a look at camouflage masks on our Hatsugawa Messerschmitt BF109G6. Tonight we're going to be spraying the camouflage scheme inside the areas defined by these masks. We're going to be taking the masks off too and spraying some freehand mottle on the fuselage sides. So let's get painting. To thin my paints, instead of using thinner, I'm actually going to be using Gloss Clear. Uh, this is a nice method to use because it means that the, the flat paints that we traditionally use uh, for camouflaging aircraft comes out with a sort of a satin finish and that makes it much easier uh, to apply decals uh, further down the track. So I'm just going to mix this up in the airbrush and we're ready to start applying it to the model. I'm using the Aztec Contempo airbrush again tonight and the tan coloured fine line tip is, uh, is connected because even though I'm not really going to require a lot of fine work with the, uh, with the spraying inside the masks, I'll certainly need it for the modelling in a little while. Now you'll remember last time we, uh, we actually made sure that we, we stood off the, the masks from the surface of the plastic by, by putting a little blob of blue tack on here. Uh, we want to get a, a finely uh, feathered edge, not a, a completely hard edge. So let's, um, let's just test it out first of all, test the paint on the mask, yeah that's fine. And what we're going to do is actually spray uh, this colour, which is RLM74, just up to the edge of the mask. I'm not even going to spray it uh, right on the edge of the mask. We want to avoid a build-up of paint uh, at the edge. I'm, I'm actually going to spray a hard edge uh, at the back here, because there is a hard edge um, on the real aircraft at the, the hinge line of the aileron. But um, we'll just build up the paint gradually here and we'll be a little bit patient, fill in the colour and we'll do the same on this outside panel as well, just spraying up to the edge and filling in the detail. Now, let's put the airbrush down for a moment. I've sprayed both sides of the mask and we'll take the the mask off at this stage, even though we're not quite finished, just to see if we're happy with the, the effect of, uh, of that sort of soft, hard edge. It's looking okay so far, uh, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll touch that up by hand. That's looking pretty good. And, uh, whoops, I've just gone over a little bit, but that's fine because I can uh, respray the, uh, the 75 colour later on and I'll just continue to spray the rest of the wing and the fuselage uh, using this RLM74 and we'll come back when I'm ready to take the rest of the masks off. Uh, 